Hello, I'm just making a quick video on how to cook frozen pizza in half the time. And I was asked to do this because one of my buddies, he's watching another video on how to cook frozen pizza in half the time, and he tried doing it, and he said that the crust is a little soggy. So I will show you how you can avoid that. Now, in the other video <clears throat> that he used, he told me that the person just left it on the, on the cardboard and then threw it in the microwave. And just just think about that for a second. If you put a piece of bread on a plate and you put it in the microwave, what happens? It gets soggy. The moisture gets trapped underneath the piece of bread. And that's why it gets soggy. So anyway, so yes, the microwave is a great idea to cook it in half the time. I respect that. But if you have something wooden, I don't know, even if you had uh, shish kebab sticks, it would probably work great too. But I don't have them, so I'm just using these two wooden stirring <coughs> spoons. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to see if I can lift this up with one hand. <laughs> it's a little awkward trying to do this with a camera in my hand. But anyway, see how I got that on top of there? So now, if you look at that, you got a gap between the pizza and the cardboard. So that means that the extra moisture that the microwave like tries to get out of the pizza will not get stuck underneath well between the pizza and the cardboard, but rather it will freely escape. So I'm going to set that in the microwave. And every single microwave has different powers. So I'm honestly I'm just gonna put it in for like two minutes because two minutes is plenty. I might even pull it out earlier. I'm gonna as I said set it to two minutes and I'm going to start but I'm gonna watch it. I'm not gonna film as I watch it. I'm gonna watch it then I'm gonna tell you how much time it took until it is good. Okay? Starting now. So I actually still have it in the microwave. I literally just stopped filming and started filming again. But while you are microwaving it, you might as well turn on your oven. I believe it will be 400 Fahrenheit if you want a crisp crust. So that's what I'm doing because I like my crust nice and crisp. But if you're wanting it soft crusted, like 425 Fahrenheit. So yeah, it's still microwaving. It probably won't take much longer. Okay, so two minutes is up, and it looks very thoroughly unthawed. Oop, so much unthawed that the cardboard is actually starting to sag a bit. Now, I'm just going to go like that. Just notice how I pull the cardboard out because we won't be wanting that cooking in there. I've heard of a few people actually starting fires doing that. And of course you still have these wooden spoons under there. So you gotta pull those out. Which is actually easier said than done when you're trying to film. That was not working enough though. I'm impressed. Are you doing one handed? Very good. Anyway, look. So it's perfectly unthawed. And now, I'm going to throw it in the oven. Now, to prove that this can be done in half the time, so most, like, your typical rising crust pizza says that it will take like 23 to 26 minutes, but of course that takes time to unthaw the pizza. So, I normally take 26 minutes if I'm just throwing it in frozen, so let's try 13 minutes because that's half the time and I am going to prove that it's possible to do this in half the time. So 13 minutes compared to my normal 26 minutes and that should be perfect, okay? And I will come back in 13 minutes and I'm sure that that pizza is going to be perfectly good. Okay, so 13 minutes are up, and it looks pretty good. 
It's got browning on the cheese. I already grabbed a flipper and I turned it over and the crust is nice and crisp. And that's what I like. And that crisp crust is something that you would not achieve if you were to follow that other video for how to make pizza in half the time. Because all that moisture that I lost in the microwave would have been caught under the crust or would have made the crust soggy in the end. So I guess if you want soggy crust, go ahead, follow the other video. But if you want crisp crust, follow what I did. Put some something to like keep it off of the cardboard in the microwave so that this extra moisture can escape. So you don't get that soggy bread effect that you that you get if you put bread in the microwave on a plate because that's just gross. So I hope that I hope that you enjoyed this video, and I hope that this helped you figure out how to save time when you're making frozen pizzas. And don't forget to subscribe.